Hey guys and welcome to a really last second video, it looks like Creative Assembly have just dropped yet another trailer as well as a load of live streams going on, you can see I'm watching Turin in the background there, we're going to pop on to this Chaos Undivided, I believe this is most likely going to be one of the last trailers we get for Total War Warhammer 3 due to how soon it is going to be released. I'm incredibly excited. It is Chaos Undivided, which I know is indeed a faction. So maybe we're having a look at that last legendary lord. Maybe we're having a look at, uh, you know, this last faction, which I'm assuming Chaos Undivided would hint that it's all the Chaos factions come together, which I don't know how it would work for balancing purposes. Maybe it's only a campaign thing. Maybe it is in multiplayer, but you're limited in other aspects. Otherwise, I don't know why you'd ever go for like corn, for example, if you could just bring corn plus Nurgle units. We'll have to wait and see. So let's delve into this and see what we have in store for us. So let's load this up. Turn down the music so it's not too loud. You guys can still hear my voice. All the trailers have been so hyped so far, so I'm looking forward to this. Ooh, in the misty mountains. It is demons, which... Oh, is it? Is it the boy Bellacor? I know Bellacor's like the most... Like, everyone's like, it's Bellacor, it's Bellacor, it's Bellacor. Oh, they're so hyped. The voice works great. That looks like more Slaneshi. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. The, like, music blaring as well. Yes! Oh, okay, it is true. I know there was rumors. It looks like you can customize them. No, oh, my beautiful baby bear. It's a duck. It's a giant duck. Oh, that is just... That looks so freaking cool. Yeah, you get Snatch one, so you can customize Demon Lords. Oh, this opens up so many possibilities. <laughs> oh, that... Okay, that looks horrific <laughs> in all the greatest ways. No oh. I the God Slayer. The God Slayer. I don't know if that's Bellacor. Is it Bellacor? Is it just someone who looks like Bellacor? He still has his wings. So maybe it's just like a customized, undivided one. There we can see in the background. That looks... As always, their trailers have been stupidly good, stupidly good so far in like the run of Total War in general, but Total Warhammer 3, they've really upped it a notch. So that's confirmed that we are getting customizable lords. This one, there was two which stood out to me the most. This one, not only just because it is, of course, kind of reminiscent of a giant rubber duck, which of course I'm a big fan of, but look how sick that looks in its armor. The amount of diversity we're going to be able to get and, like, tactical diversity with these different lords is insane. I wonder how this is going to work for multiplayer. But I'm, but also, Snatch is cool, but the Nurgle one. This bad boy right here looks horrific. Like, the, the crown of, like, twisted bones and fawns, like, coming out of his head. Of course, the snapping stomach as well is always a kind of trademark of Nurgle at this point, but he also looks pretty awesome, though the vomit is a little bit off-putting, and it looks like he can fly, so you can get flying lords. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. Is it going to be a case of you get, like, almost like a gun in, t in Call of Duty, right? You get, like, ten attachments or whatever. What do you want to put on your demon prince? Do you want to give him a bigger sword, which is going to make him do more damage? Or do you want to trade that out and give him flight to forget that little bit more mobility? Again, that's going to make it so much mix and match. It's going to be a little workshop of building your own demon prince. That is really awesome stuff. Now, I did see the very, very start of Turin's stream where it popped on, and he was like, okay, we're gonna be discussing stuff, and I was like, no, 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 mute. But I did see, as well, that he was on a, the kind of, um, the overview screen of, like, the multiplayer stuff. I don't know if this is, I guess it's confirmed now, because it was on his live stream. There's an option for ranked multiplayer. So, I don't have a picture of it here, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah, on the screen, there was an option for ranked multiplayer, which now means we are getting kind of competitive multiplayer pushed into the game with that ranked system, which I am incredibly hyped about. I'm almost more hyped about that than this trailer, though the trailer, of course, was fantastic as always. So, I guess ranked multiplayer is confirmed, question mark. I haven't obviously been able to see it or play it or any of that kind of stuff, but Turin did say he wasn't allowed to show my play today. He was just going to do single player, but, hey, here's... 
a link to or here's like a the screenshot of what the the overarching uh, view is gonna be like and i saw ranked multiplayer on the screen and i was like oh my god so good news for us as a multiplayer channel hope you guys enjoyed this very short reaction that's kind of my basic thoughts of it um not too much more to add to that i don't think if we go to show me more is there an faq on this that we can delve into boo, 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 boo. Hmm. Do they have their official website up here? Let's check the blog and see if they've put anything out about this. It doesn't look like it at the moment. It's a little bit unfortunate. Let's go to games and pop on Total Warhammer 3 just in case they've hidden it somewhere, which they often do. So, nope, doesn't look like they've dropped any more news on this at the moment, just kind of what we saw there, but what we saw looked pretty damn awesome. So, as I said before, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a short little fun reaction there. I'm very excited to bring you guys Total Warhammer 3 content in the future and just delve into this. I've got to go now. I'm going to go check out all the glorious live streams. I believe people like Turin, Legend of Total War, Milk and Kikis and stuff are now allowed to drop Total War Warhammer 3 stuff, at least by the looks of it and their announcements. So I'm going to go delve into that and just, you know, indulge in glorious carnage. But until next time, guys, peace, peace. And as always, stay awesome.